Hello everyone, it's Rob. Um, yeah, it's been a, it's been a some time, uh, as you can see. Uh, channel's had a bit of a rebrand. I've decided to, yeah, just change some stuff. Uh, hopefully you'll join me. It's had a bit of a, bit of a rethink. Uh, just wanted to carry it on, but under a different sort of. E you know, or ethos if you like really, you know, I've been on here 11 years and we've all sort of grown up together if you like, hopefully you'll join me still, I am started on here when I was 15, I'm 26 now, nearly 27, life's changed for us all, uh, not really a farmer anymore if you like, I went a different way, I'm a forklift truck mechanic now, a fairly successful one at that, um, done, done pretty well over the years, uh, I mess around with lots of things, I still work on tractors, I still, I still drive them occasionally, I, I do miss farming very much so, um, but you know things happen and you, you sort of go where life takes you, so uh, not long moved house and uh, if you can hear my PC the, the sides off at the minute the, the hard drive that's recording this is is literally hanging on by the power cable and the the SATA the SATA cable I've not had time to put everything back together properly um, but uh, yeah so you know life life finds a way so the rebrand forget about the world is is, is pretty apt uh, I've, I've literally started playing this map. I've got like two hours on this map. Forget about the world. I've had a bit of a bit of a hell, a couple. What I say, a bit of a hell scare. A couple of hell scares recently. Uh, I'm off work at the minute. I, can't, I physically can't work at the minute, and it sort of inspired me to do do what I can do, which is, is literally sit in front of a computer. I can't bend. I can't. I can't even drive. Actually, to tell you the truth, I can't do anything other than sort of. The extent of what I could do was sort of plug in the the spare recording hard drive I've got, uh, and that didn't make me feel too good, <laughs> to be honest. So I, I've managed to do what I can do, but I can sit, keep my head sort of perfectly square, uh, and play a bit of farming sim, and it's actually been been really really nice. So I'll sort of take you through what I've got so far. Uh, the name of the map actually escapes me. The medication I'm on is is not making my my brain thinks so good, um, but it's actually a really, really good map. Uh, I'll take you through, you know, a few saves I've got on FS22. Um, but hopefully, a few people, you know, do join me and do, do give a couple of seconds of their time just to go. Oh, I remember him. Uh, it's, it's a pretty, pretty cool map. I've not got too many mods on here because the base game's really good. I'll take you through a couple of bits that I've got a couple of noteworthy ones um, I'm, I'm not big into I've never been too big into the bigger bigger maps people might remember that um, but this channel won't now won't just be about farming sim it, a big part of it will be because that's sort of my passion but probably not all of it I've got a lot of little fence and things you'll see we've just gone past a lot of little fence older fence International harvesters, little John Deere's, little Massey's look, big Massey guy. I'm sure you're probably you might might not remember. 8344, one of my favourites. A few mediums. I've not got too many large. I've got some ridiculous stuff on here that I found over the time I've had the game. Uh, I have got. I've actually got one of the ridiculous ones. It's a combine actually. Some of you might have it. If you see anything and you want it, just speak up and I'll I'll send you a link. Uh, I've got the 72, I've got that actually, it's on the baler at the minute. 180, 90, I couldn't say no when I found that. I'm sure it's this one, yeah, here you go. 190 to 890 horsepower, 19 miles an hour. It doesn't do 90 mile, miles an hour, I think it does like 93 if you want it to. It's ridiculous. Uh, it does help out though, when you just want to get something done. Uh, I've got it on another map. It's not a big map, it's just like some of the fields I've got are quite far away. And I was I was just playing about because it was new to me. 
uh, I was playing about with like cotton and things like that and it was just good fun that some of the cotton fields I had were further away because I planted other things elsewhere and it was just to get stuff mopped up uh, I have some trailers that keep up with it as well um, I'll show you it's over here. I've got a really nice really nice trailer as well yeah Rowan trailer that's a really really nicely detailed trailer as well this is it 300 meters cubed it's ridiculous I have that I've also got this one 255 meters cubed really handy I'll, uh, where's the combine I have a combine as well uh, harvesters I'm sure some of you have got it as well and it was only when I just took over this map, you know, everything's like pre planted and stuff, it just helped mop it up. The Colossus, yeah, up to 1500 horsepower, 153,000 litres tank. It does help, and yeah, 29 mile an hour. And it will do that while it's harvesting, it's hilarious to watch it fly across the field, especially with the, you know, the in game helpers. So I've got my little Massey, 54-55, and little Turner. Excuse the dogs. Two seconds. Sorry about that, postman. Uh, the dogs barking as well. I've got two Australian Kelpies. They they like to let you know people are people are here. Um, what was I saying? Uh, oh yeah. So yeah, I'll just take you through the take you through the fleet anyway. So on this map, I've got some little little stuff. A couple of little, some some bigger bits, but mostly little stuff. Little four cylinder sixty four thirty on a bigger rig. I like small tractors with bigger stuff just to save time. There's no reason, you know. Little and I've got it. I think this one's chip tuned as well. I think it's like 135 horse. No reason it can't run this. Uh, actually, while we're here, might as well. I mean, I, I'd say I've been using just a hide help. I've not got course play or anything. I've literally only just sort of started to get back into it and I'm, I really mean just literally the last sort of day or two uh, so because I've not really been very well you know I'm talking three days ago I couldn't even get out of bed so just leave that on hired help Quite a big field, to be fair. This one. Uh, we've got a Merlot with a load of counterweights on the back. If you can, it's just just helpful. Uh, I've always had this Merlot. I've had it through three generations of this game. It's just a great mod. And then we've got back to the Massey for some reason. Where? Oh, there's there's the Colossus combine. There it is, there's still some grain I need to unload. Yeah, it will do. It will. Oh no, just 43 miles an hour, apparently. Sorry, the steering's slow. There you go. Yeah, 43 miles an hour, and it will just do that anywhere. Full, right, full, full shaft. It'll do that with the PTO in. It's unbelievable. Hilarious. There's my 8340. Uh, the bonnet graphics aren't the best for some reason. You were supposed to work. I know I need to destone this field, but I'm not too worried. I just want to get some something in the ground. I'll worry about it another day. And I know this could do with a But I'm not too worried. Hopefully you can hear me the words. Or that the the engines aren't too too quiet. So this is the 7250, this is a high horsepower mod, I think this is a 300 horsepower one. I think it's the chip tune mod. Uh, I've also got the twine mod on as well, so I have to refill the twine. Uh, I've got the big, big massy baler. Uh, I've got a load of grass to uh, hay to bale. I've got a load of straw to pick up as well. So I've got this field to bale, and that field to bale over there. Uh, I have some cows. Ah, I this this ah, I've, I forgot about this. The, the medication I'm on makes me a bit very sleepy and a, a lot forgetty. Uh, I bought this. I found this the other day. Uh, I say found it. I, I wasn't looking very hard. I'm sure it's on the mod hub. Um, D1000 baler. 
red and yellow on a 3670. I couldn't not have that because this is what I drove when I was from the age of about what 13, 12, 13 years old up until well the new one went bang and I went bang big time 2000 and I'm trying to think when did it go bang 2018 yeah it must have been 2018 I remember let's just unfold it jump in and unfold in fact no the cover's already <coughs> excuse me <coughs> Yeah, just just sentimental. I, I even tried to spec it up as close as I could with the right tyres. They're not they're not right. It, I, if I spent a bit longer, there was a lot a lot of tyre choices for it. But yeah, it, this pretty much as close as I could get to what I used to drive. The the Massey I had was actually a thirty six eighty, um, and it didn't have front link. It also didn't have a stupid front number plate. Uh, it also didn't have those wheels, but every, it also wasn't a dyna shift. But whatever. But everything else is, you know, it's just memories. But yeah, I remember I was I was on a 50 acre field of straw, and it was I'd managed to get through like the thickest rows. It was like it was coming out the back of a 40 foot, 40 foot class. Uh, class combine, horrendously thick rows. I'd had a really rough day of it. First gear, low box, because the, these weren't great. Even in the day, they weren't great. Let's be fair. And at the time, she'd done 240, 48,000 bales. It was worn out. And uh, I remember I'd nursed it through the day, making nice bales. And I'd finished one. I had five rows left, and I'd come, I'd come off one row, I'd spun round, and I'd just drop the bed down to start on the next row. And it was, you know, how it is when you start a row. Obviously, the combine's just picking up again, so it's nice and thin. And then, obviously, as the combine gets going again, it, it starts thick. So it was nice and thin. And just as it, just as it touched the straw, you know, and I mean touched the straw. It just it did a shear bolt, just buff, like that, and uh, I was like, oh, that's weird. I thought oh, maybe the shear bolts just had enough, and there's there's several shear bolts. I can't remember now. It's been years. Um, these are a pain in the ass, uh, and I just lifted the front cover, just this one here. And I thought, ah, oh, it's only done the flywheel shear bolt. That's nothing. Banged the shear bolt back in it. Simples. Jump back in. Obviously idle. Took the PTO in nice and gentle. Oof, did the shear bolts. No, sorry, I, un I even unbonged it. I even unbonged it, even though there was nothing in there, I unbonged it. Then put the PTO in. It just went woof straight away, nothing in there. Thought, What's going on here? Lifted the covers, nothing. Lifted the other cover, nothing. Put a shear bolt in it. I'm thinking oh, maybe it's just a gas shear bolt. Woof. What's going on here then? So I climbed up the steps. Climbed up. Climbed up, looking at the notter shaft. Oh no, <laughs> it actually sheared the notter shaft clean, sheared it. <laughs> so that was game over that day. And then I drove it back to the yard. It was only about three or four miles, if if that actually, maybe maybe closer to two, two and a half. Um, and I was driving up the hill, so I had about half a mile left. And I heard it even over even over the, the tractor and everything. I heard it. Someone go ping. And then this started to the baler started to pull, and I looked in the mirror, and I just saw like this wheel had had sort of moved. It was sort of leaning. I thought, oh no, oh, I've got I ain't got far to go. I've just got to just got to go for it. So I went, made it back into the yard, pulled it into the shed forwards, and looked, and yeah, the actual wheel bearing had exploded. So uh, yeah, that that summed up my day. So anyway, that's just a little a little thing from the memories, but. Um, yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, I couldn't not have this when I saw it. Yeah, I completely sheared the notter shaft. It's actually a really detailed model. This actually, it's it's pretty cool. I might, I may use it just on a little field somewhere. So you're you're done. 
whatever. Cool. Um, I can't actually remember if we go to. I'm really, really not good at this, so. No, no, that's not where I wanted to be. Now, I'll show you what I own anyway while we're here, once it's finished shaving. One thing I don't like about this is the is the auto shave. So that's, I'm sure, what I own. I own all that. Obviously, huge amount of cheating. Just a money mod. Now if I go to the cow barn. Yeah, 100, 120. I'm sure it's 60 of each I own. Just because I like, just because I wanted to. Fold up now, anyway. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take this. Put it back in the shed. And put it back in this shed. And we'll uh, go and get the auto stack bale trailer I've got. I'll just go and grab some straw. So I've got a load of straw dotted around. I need to pick up. Now I'm not sure if these are automatic gates or if they're clicky ones. Yeah, they are clicky ones. Well, some on this map seem to be automatic, some seem to not do anything, and some just seem to. I just drive through the hedges, to be honest. It is a really nice, really nice yard. And a big grain silo. I haven't worked out everything yet. As I said, I've literally got like two hours on this game. On this map, sorry. Nice big sheds. Plonk this in there. It's not going to do any harm. It's nice and high. don't like about it is uh, the reset when you reset machines it goes back to the shop uh, instead of the factory even though that's a bit of a big train back or do we buy another tractor in the in fact yeah we'll do that um, yeah it resets back to the back to the shop which is quite frustrating whereas in old games you could you know cheat and just reset everything back to your farm and then get it all set up and you'd be away um, in fact, now's probably a good time to have a laugh with that uh, stupid John Deere 4755. There it is. So, we go buy it. So this is this is it. So this is it in standard configure 190 horsepower. So if we go back, Unreal 2, 890 horsepower. Unreal 1, 890, but look at the miles an hour, 93. Unreal 2 is 46. Unreal 1 is 93. So we'll keep that. And you can have like drag dragster wheels. But I'm not a fan of those. We'll find some meat ass, I like meat ass. White tires. Standard exhaust. Um I don't want to go daft. Well, I don't want to go daft. I'm going daft, but not ridiculous. We'll have a bit of that. Jump out of that. So this is the auto stack trailer thing I've got. It's it's quite handy actually. I know there are auto stackers in the game, but I quite like that, just having a, a dolly trailer. I've got I've got straw belts dotted around everywhere. Just to say, when I got the when I got the um, the map, I just sort of went around and mopped up everything that was ready to, to harvest. I just nailed it all. over yonder. No? Must be. No, I don't know. No, it can't be. 
No, because I've driven through there, like you can see where I've driven through. Ah, oh, there's the combine. So if you've not seen this trailer before, which again I'm sure you have. Uh, ah, I didn't bail this, I should have bailed. You'll see I didn't bail a lot of the rows, but I didn't bail this at all. Right, there we go. Right, so what we do is I'm sure you just click B. I'm sure, unless I bought the wrong trailer. Because you have to like spec this one. Ah, there you go. That's it. Yeah, you, you have to like spec this trailer up when you buy it. Otherwise, it doesn't work properly. Again, that might just be me. But you can spec it up for like little bales and round bales and all sorts of things. It is a really good mod. And then when you want to unload, you can literally just unload on the trailer and just unload. You know, like you would normally. Instead of having to tip the whole bed up and stuff and having, you know, a stack outside or, or a really, really tall shed to stack them in. So if you're playing on like the maps that I like to play on, it is it is quite nice. And then because I've got this ridiculous 90 odd mile an hour John Deere, it doesn't make your life quite easy. And I won't bore you to death, but uh, I just wanted to take you on a bit of a a bit of a tour around. You know what, cause, just because there's a gate there I've spotted, I'll use it. There are other things I need to do. I need to set it so that the engines don't stop all the time, that is quite frustrating. Games. I was pretty good with course play and you know, all that sort of stuff. I wasn't the best at it by you know any stretch of the imagination. There were people far better at it than me. Um, you know, I've never I've never stopped watching people playing this game on YouTube. You know, and there's lots and lots of not new faces anymore, but. New earth, faces, new earth faces to me. Right, so I've obviously been through here as well. Because that's the shop, so we need to sneak through here. I thought I had more than this. That doesn't really matter. That's the good thing about this game, is you can, you can literally just buy them as well. Mm, my AI helped me miss that bit. I'm planting an, another big field closer to the farm as well, so that helps. Because this map's not got the, the best road network, and I don't really want to be using this sort of stuff. I want to try and keep everything as close as I can. I don't really want to be coming this far out, because if you actually look where we are, I'm for, if you actually look where we are, look. So this field here isn't too bad, I, I own it. This one, you know, we're field 35, the farm's only there, that's not too bad. But where we actually started, field, you know, well, the shop, field 19, that's a bit of a, a drag because there's only that one single road. So, yeah, you want to, I want to really stop at 36, 37, I want to own that sort of half as well. Um, well, you should be planting 34 at the minute, 32 is grass. 33 I don't mind because there's a little track between the two the number 12 yeah fine there's a little track I don't really want to go any further because I can get away with it and that means I can use the little stuff that I like um, but yeah anyway I'll, I'll cut this one for now I'll now I'll come back to this one once you know, I've got back to the yard and I've done a couple more bits and I'll, I'll probably show you another couple of saves because I've got three more saves I think three or four more saves and some of them I've not been on 
in a, in a long time. So it'd be interesting for both of us to see where I actually got to. You know, what I mean, I, I, I when I flicked onto to load this map up for the first time, one of the saves have not been on since well, in over a year. So that would be quite cool to see. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me, and hopefully it helped you forget about the world for a bit. See you soon. Bye-bye.